Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is a project you'll have at the end of it. And as you can see, I've got two cameras, two players, and a following each player. I can show you how easy this is to set up for people. It's a simple case of highlighting both of these. Press Ctrl D, and you'll notice that the update container three, container four. But we need to go to viewport. Make sure this is free. Make sure this is four. Now, when we play this, you'll see we've got four containers. I've also put code in there as well to determine how far we should zoom in. So if you have two, you zoom in less. If you have four, you zoom in more. If you have six, you zoom even further in. I'll show you what six looks like now. And as you can see, we've got six. Now I've only got two players connected, so you won't see anyone moving other than those two. In fact, you'll notice that these two players are actually duplicates of one another, but you can solve that in code. But yeah, you could imagine you could go up to 10 if you wanted it. You could go as many as you want, but it depends on your screen size, obviously. So I'm going to put this back to 4, and then we'll carry on the tutorial from there. I'm only going to focus on the split screen section, so I want you to imagine that you've already got a game that you want to add split screen to. And as you can see, I've got a new 2D, I've got a background image, I've got a tile map where I've painted some tiles on, I've got some images, and I'm just saying that's player one, that's player two. And on these, you can see you can control them with your arrow keys, and on player two, you would control that with your um, WSAD. Now you'll notice in this code that there's actually got some callback to the split screen section, so I can't play this without getting an error. So we're gonna make the split screen section now. So make a new node, we want a canvas layer, and I'm going to call this split screen component. Then add a texture rack. I'm going to put in a background image for it, which is here. Then I'm going to make it sure it expands. And I'm also going to make sure that we're on full rect. This will be a border color between our viewports. We can call this border color. Then I'm going to add in a grid container. And it's important that we make sure this is two columns. We're also going to make sure this is also full rect. And uh, custom constants, I like to see the border, so I'm going to say 5 and 5. Now we need to put in a viewport container. Put a new viewport in. We'll call this viewport 1. Attach a camera. You'll notice we've got this error here, which is viewport size must be greater than 0. So you've got the size flags here, what you'll notice in our projects. If I go to window, We've got 1024 by 600. So I'm just going to imagine it's going to be halved for the X and I'll half it for this as well. So that would be 512, 300. You'll notice the error just went away then. Make sure in rendering we do usage and make sure it's on 2D. Also, I'm going to make sure this is called container. Now we've named it container one, we'll go to our size flags and we'll make sure it's on expanded. Now what we can do is Close it down and press Control D to duplicate it. And as you can see, we've got a split screen. We'll do it another two times. And as you can see, we've got four. Another thing we need to do as well is our viewports also need to be one, two, three, four. So let's change that. Now in viewport one, we're going to drag in our level. And you'll see it here. Now you might be wondering why don't we drag it into viewport 2, viewport 3, viewport 4. But what that would do is duplicate it so we'd have four levels on the screen at once. So we'd have four player ones, four player twos. So what we need to do is make sure that viewport 2 to 4 references viewport 1's world. And that way they can interact with one another. And how we're going to do that is by adding a script to the split screen component. I'll put the variables in what we'll be using. And what we'll do is make sure that viewport one is referenced, that the grid container is referenced, and viewports is actually going to be an array of the how many viewports we currently have. Now we need a ready function. So what this for loop is going to do is it's going to get the grid, which is our grid container, and it's going to get each child count, which is container one, two, three, four. We'll go through each one of those containers, then we'll make sure we get the viewport from that container we're currently in. If the view is not equal to null, it means that the viewport exists. We'll do some code to make the zoom fit, no matter how many viewports contains we have. If we don't do this, you can actually not see a lot of the world. So you want to zoom in the more viewports there is. And we'll zoom out the less there is. We'll then reference the camera in each viewport. 
So this is the really important bit. We've got view, which is our current viewport and it's world. And we'll make sure that it's equal to viewport one world. This is the only one that actually does contain a world. So we may need to update the others. Then we apply the zoom to the camera. Once it's the camera zoom sorted out, we'll make sure that the cam global position matches the player position it's hooked up to. Now you'll notice we've got I, so it'll be one, two, three, four. So if we go back to our level, you'll notice they're called one, two, three, four. It's not very imaginative, but it works. Now we'll go and highlight each container. I've got to do this, but make sure that stretch is on. This means that when we maximize the window, the screen, the containers will stretch along with it. Another thing I accidentally missed was highlight each camera and make sure that they're actually current. Without doing this, they'll just point in, off into space. So now we should be able to play this. And as you can see, it's working. Player one is being followed, player two is being followed. The other two players don't have coding, but I'll leave that to you. So how would you do this for player split screen? So let me show you how quick that would be. Make two new players. You can see five and six are here. Go to your split screen component, highlight containers three and four, press control D, and make sure viewport is five, the viewport six. Now, when we play this, you'll see it's worked. And once again, only player one and two are useful. So, that concludes the end of this tutorial. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.